The rich use time to create and take opportunities. They squeeze every ounce of advantage the day presents to them. The idea of organizing and planning daily tasks to save bits and pieces of time or get more done is for the employee or worker. The rich can hire someone and get freed of a bunch of tasks. This is why their focus is on the opportunity of the present. It is obvious now more than ever that no one gets rich by trading their time for money. There was a doctor in the US who got excited after earning a million dollars in one paycheck. But after all the taxes, it was below $300,000. If you trade your time for money, when are you going to enjoy all that money? Most people earn just enough by being an employee to fund their employee lifestyle. And they stay there because of the illusion of safety and security. They only think about working more to earn more money. This is not to belittle working hard. But you don't work hard to get rich, you work hard to stay rich. There are several ways to get rich but they all have a common thread line that cuts through everything. If you want to be rich, you present yourself as one who is where you want to be, not someone who is aspiring. And one of the ways to do this is to value your time more than anything and everything money can buy. The rich don't use time like money. Instead of spending time, they use time as leverage. There are only 24 hours in a day, and that applies to everybody. The secret of how they build wealth fast is not what they do with that time, but what they use that time to get exposed to. It is not about the time you have left. Assuming you have three decades left in this life, you've got more than a billion seconds to spend. This would be the basis for many to think they are billionaires of time, but this is not the point. Even if you have just one year left, you have enough time to create the life you want. The reason is that the distance between two seconds is infinite when measured in thought. One thought, one information, can save you years of hard work. The power of time is not in the fact that we can trade it for something. The power is in the fact that we can use it as leverage to alter our experiences. Just like how billionaires manage their money, they buy assets with it. Time is not an asset. You use it to create assets. Wealth is created, not achieved. From school, we have been programmed with the mindset of achievement. Everybody is out in the world trying to achieve something. People want to be recognized by other people, established institutions, and more. So, they spend their lives seeking these approvals. But another big secret of life is that great wealth is not achieved. You cannot achieve your way into great wealth. You simply have to create something everybody wants but don't know what they want. You have to make something real that wasn't previously possible. You can't get there by writing exams and writing academic papers. Nothing is wrong with those, but it won't get you serious wealth. Letting go of the achievement mindset is hard for many, but it is a prerequisite for success in entrepreneurship. This achievement mindset is what makes some young entrepreneurs celebrate the money they raise more than the profit they make. Invest time, don't save it. One of the ways to know the right thing to do in any circumstance is to look at what regular people are doing and do the opposite. Regular people trade time, so you don't trade time. Regular people try to save time so that they have more of it to trade, and you focus on the exact opposite of that. Rich people use their time to enjoy life. Most of them build their work around their definition of enjoyment. Interestingly, the best deals come to people who are enjoying life. Those chasing the best deals don't get them. Instead, the best deals get served on a platter for those who are not even looking for them. Another good way to use time is to invest it. The way to invest time is to use your time to acquire useful, practical knowledge or useful relationships. One relationship can take you from earning $3,000 to earning $50,000 in a snap. That is a massive compression of time. See possibilities first before trying. So many people fail in executing their ideas, and if you asked them, they would give you a million reasons for it. But the main problem is that most of them do not see themselves on the other side before making the leap. People who succeed consistently know what is going to happen when they execute an idea. There are no doubts. If you don't see yourself successful in what you are trying to do, you won't succeed. If you do, you will lose it one way or another. You need to see the possibilities first and accept the success for yourself before you try. The best way to see possibilities is to see other people that what you want to do has worked for. When you see those people and you feel that they are not better than you, 
then you are ready for success. Find the people it has worked for. Can you see yourself among them? If yes, go ahead. If no, keep looking until you can see yourself among them. The Mindset of a Time Billionaire We are all time billionaires. The only difference is that while some live like it, others live with the scarcity mentality. It is like this. Do you think an extra four hours in the day will help you have a better life financially? If your answer, through your lifestyle, is yes, you are living with a mindset of scarcity. Always remember that the distance between two seconds and thought is infinite. The decisions that will surge your finances will probably take a few seconds. If it takes more, you will probably miss it. The mindset of a time billionaire is optimizing the few seconds in the day that really matters. It is not about the hours, it is about the seconds. Life is about what you know, not what you can do. What you can do is great and important, but if you lack knowledge, you will have a poor life. You must have seen two people who do the same thing, but one earns 10x the other, and they do the exact same thing. Life is more about what you know than what you can do, and this doesn't mean knowledge that you apply to get things done. Instead, this is knowledge of relationships, who you know, knowledge of influence, knowledge of juicy offers, knowledge of how to get people to pay for stuff, and so on. Five minutes of information can save you 10 years of struggling. There is always a way to get there in months, not years. There is a way to get there in days, not months. Find how. Is it worth the investment? You should enjoy life with time. The bulk of time should be to do things that give you joy and fulfillment. But when it is time to play the game of money, it is the seconds that matter the most. Time is leverage, not an asset in itself. Before you put in time into anything, you should ask if it is worth the investment. Think about where you are. Think about where you want to go. Think about who you need to become. Is this activity worth the investment? What difference will it make to your bottom line? You don't trade time for money. You use your time to expand your horizons. Then you become what you need to become, and the money will find you. I hope you have gained something.